Watch it fall slowly Hello everybody, how's it going today? This is Gemini Jets Reviews coming back with a review of the Gemini Jets 200 scale Alaska ERJ-175 uh, operated and owned by SkyWest uh, This is a new re um, release that was... Um, from I believe January, I think it was a January release, however when I looked at the back of the box it said 2017 on it. So I'm not sure if this was a December release or a January release. I believe it was a January release because now that the February releases are now announced, they released the um, 175 here in front of us in 1400 scale. So um, I don't know if they just forgot to put 2018 on the back of the box because if you turn it around, I'll just have to focus it. Or, yep. So let me just give it a quick focus here for you guys to see. It says 2017 on it. So I'm not sure if they must have just mislabeled it or something like that. But anyways, we'll uh, get to the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I always subscribe back. And uh, enjoy the video. This is actually an inaugural video for this account. So I'm not sure if you guys know uh, or are familiar with my voice. Um, I am on YouTube. Um, I actually... Uh, have an account on there, Extreme Aviation 757. It's kind of like a, just a collage of all kinds of stuff. Uh, landing videos, takeoff videos, reviews on models actually. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, along with uh, like some airport updates that I did. My airport isn't set up anymore unfortunately, but back when I did do them, uh, they're all in that old account. So this is a new account. I'm just going to dedicate this mostly to models and stuff like that. I'm going to try to hopefully get a couple of videos up every couple of weeks and try to keep the account fresh and up and running constant not gonna make it and just let it sit there and just die off so um, I hope you guys do enjoy the video this is the first video for the account and I'm also shooting with my Nikon D3400 instead of just my iPhone um, I think it just brings out the video a lot better especially in the 1080 um, uh, I always forget the is it 1080 resolution there we go <laughs> brain fart all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get onto the video. Uh, we'll go ahead and give you a quick look at the box, and then we'll get to the model. So, Alaska ERJ-175, made by Gemini Jets 1200 scale. And as you can see, Gemini Jets 200 logo, along with Alaska right there in the middle. And the Alaska ERJ-175, just, uh, just ignore those noises, that's just my furnace. And then um, Embraer ERJ-175. And we'll look towards the bottom of the box, which I can show you guys right here. Visit our website for new releases. And on this side of the box, and also the other side as well, you have the Gemini Jets 200 logo again, with a small photo of the aircraft, and then the Embraer ERJ-175 with the item number. And then the Gemini Jets 200 logo, once again, with the adult collectible model, just a couple of the warning restrictions, contain small parts, blah, 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 don't worry about that. And then the barcode that uh, does include the item number on it now, which is definitely a different something that they brought out. I don't know how long ago, but I've been noticing them on more of the um, new releases. And then you know the other side. So, and then we got the back. 2017 at the bottom, which I'm still wondering if that is actually true. I don't think it is. I just, I always forget when these models are released. Like, I could literally look at the page and say, oh, it's a January 2018 release. Oh, but it's not. You know, it's just, you got to think about it. And then you have all other kinds of info, you know, the characteristics of the model, short summary, and then the new aircraft being added monthly, blah, 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 and then the licensing. All right, so that's the box, so we'll get to the best part, and which is the model. So I'm going to kind of cheat and kind of go off of ETL Lubeck. I don't know if you guys have seen him. He's just probably one of the best model reviewers out there. Um, so if you haven't uh, checked him out, Evan, he's uh, definitely one of the best that I've seen, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are the best. I'm not, you know, picking names, blah, 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 trying to start World War III. But, uh, yeah, he has a lot of great videos. So you guys will definitely want to go check him out. So what I'm going to actually start doing is uh, shout-outs and videos. So we'll, uh, our first shout-out of the video will be to him. So hopefully he'll watch this video. So usually what he does is he usually starts out, you know, with measurements of the model. So I'd say this model would probably be about five and a half to six inches long. 
and I'd say from wing to wing, I'd say probably about eh, about five inches on the dot, probably a couple of uh, probably just a couple inches in there, five feet, especially with the spatula winglets, they add a little bit to that too. And those look just remarkable. I'm, I'm excited to see this on one 400 scale. It actually just got announced today. So um, what we'll do is we'll do another quick look on that side. Those antennas are just popping. They look really good, along with the little beacon bead at the top. And then we'll give a look from behind. And those spatulas, they just get me every time. And then I'll give you kind of a quick look down there at the EPU. Not very much realism there, but I mean, can't really do much with an APU. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get to the model. We'll start on the left side, and we'll work our way down. So here you have the flight deck cockpit windows. Move down a little bit. We have the main cabin door. And then we'll give you kind of a up-close look at the nose gear. which you can tell it's got that 175 light gear with the long, I usually call them a tether. Um, I think that's what they're called on most cargo planes, the tether on the nose gear. That's just what it looks like to me. But I'm sure that's not what it is. I'm sure it's some kind of uh, part to the landing gear. And then you got a couple of antennas here. And then we'll move down. We have the Alaska paint scheme, which I absolutely love, along with the Sky West. Yeah, you guys are going to have to ignore that. Uh, I'm actually just trying to get over a cold. And then at the top here we have our beacon bead, and then another antenna. And then the ERJ-175s do not have overwing emergency exits, which I actually just noticed right now. Which is kind of funny, I've always wondered why they've never put the arrows there, but now I know, there's no exit there. And then we'll definitely zoom in on this sexy spatula. It's just a... I don't know, it's, these things just send me over the edge. I think they're just really cool. They're really really goofy looking but they're really cool too you know because they're trying to save on fuel as best as they can alright so we'll work our way back down we have November 182 Sierra Yankee that's our registration number for the aircraft and we have uh, another antenna at the bottom which actually just cut the heck out of my finger and then we have our uh, other exit door here at the very back of the aircraft and a couple more antennas that you really got to watch yourself. These things are sharp. I've actually cut my finger a few times on them because of how sharp they are. And then we have the Eskimo. Chester the Eskimo on the vertical stab there. And then we have a couple of the horizontal stabs. And they even put the... I don't know if you guys will notice that. Let's see if I can zoom in on it a little bit. The directional... I think they're like the dimensions or the directional... Um, it's to actually align the horizontal stabilizers with the fuse. I don't know what it's called. I'm not going to blurt out something that's probably completely incorrect. But if anyone knows what these do, it's measurements for something. It's just like a measurement for the horizontal stabilizer. I don't know if it's got to, it has to do with how the aircraft performs in flight or how it's supposed to perform when it flies. And then we'll look towards the back where the horizontal stabilizers sit and our APU, which is our auxiliary power unit. And then we'll take a quick look at the bottom of the aircraft. We have our landing gear doors along with the nose gear. Our main gear, which uh, on these ones the main gears are, um, they are in there, they're stationary, they don't come out. We have the engine decals on the bottom there, which look really good. And then the Gemini Jets logo. And then back down to the horizontal stabilizers. And the other side. So um, that will complete the review of the Alaska ERJ-175. A very beautiful model. Um, I'm really glad they came out with it. I've been waiting for them to come out with a... 175 that has the uh, spatulates is what I call them. Usually a lot of people call them like the radical winglets and just like normal slanted sharklets, but I think the spatulates are a lot cooler. So uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Once again, this is an inaugural video for this account. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, like I said, I always subscribe back. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, follow me on, don't forget to follow me on Instagram too, I'll include that in the uh, bio there, um, or actually the description of the video. So um, once again, thank you so much for watching guys, 
Hope everyone has a safe and happy rest of the week, and we will see you guys next time.